na karibisha sana sana. Eh hii kitu ukiona na cheka ni kitu laisi sana. Very simple. For me I've been working in Saudi Arabia for 10 years. So I know from A to Z about Saudi. Na hii mambo inakuja kuambiwa ya kwamba Mwarabu ana pesa, Mwarabu anafanya nini? Actually you need to do investigation first before you do anything. Else. Saudi nikienda huko I was a house boy. I was a house boy and then I was promoted to be a house driver. From a house driver ni karudi Kenya. Mnajua kuna kampuni inaitwa Almarai. Almarai is the world integrated dairy company. Imeajili wa Kenya wengi sana. Kuna maveterinaries, kuna mavet ma senior officers wako huko. Wanafanya kazi and they are earning a lot. So hii kitu ya mateso ya Saudi inaweza malizika. The president ama the parliamentary group walifanya kitu inaitwa safe houses. Safe houses ndio tu itasaidia ima maneno ishe. Safe house ya kwanza ikuwe jida. From jida ingine ikuwe damam. From damam ingine iwe kwa hail. From hail ingine iwe kwa sakaka, aljuof. Eh? Kamsimsheti. Jizan huko chini kabisa. Okay? Maka, Madina. Msichana akitoka huku Kenya akienda Saudi, asiende kwa Mwarabu, asiende kwa agent. Anafaa kwanza embassy ya Saudi wanakaa tu chini. Hakuna kitu wanafanya. They are doing nothing. Mjana akitoka hapa anafaa kuingia kwa embassy kwanza. Ana report na anaandikwa amefika. Kutoka hapo anajulikana unaenda wapi? Nafaa kuenda Madina. Kuna safe house iko Madina. And that is what Filipino do. Safe house yenye iko Madina wanampokea msichana. Kwa hivyo Mwarabu atamuendea wapi? Atamuendea kwa safe house. Huyo Mwarabu atajua hao watu he is or she is totally protected. Okay? So kutoka hapo msichana akiwa na shida anafaa kupigia safe house simu. Akipigia safe house simu nao uh, safe house inaenda mpaka huko ndani. Wanaenda kujua ni nini inaendelea. Let me tell you Saudi is not a kitchen. Atutaangalia hivi na uangalie hivi na uangalie. Saudi is like East Africa na tuongezee Southern Sudan. Ni kubwa sana. So embassy haiwezi 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 kushughulikia watu wote. Na ndio maana tunahitaji safe houses. And the agencies who are here watashikana na serikali isichukue watu watikutoka na huko nje edeni mchukue watu wenye wameenda huko eh yeah. mtu mwenye anajua he msichana ukisikia msichana ameteswa ama msichana amepiga simu they must it must be serious msichana anaweza enda kaa kwa nyumba ya muarabu for two years na mtu asijue kama kuna msichana huko huko the other thing nataka kuambia agents wako hapa take any call from a girl as a distress call hata kama ni salamu Mwana mustana akitoka hapa akifika huko anaambiwa shagara ajui shagara ni nini tari ajui ni nini unajua warabu wanaongea na so mustana anasema haki ya Mungu niliambiwa nimekuja kuteswa na nimeanza kuteswa kumbe alikuwa anaitwa eh hizi shule wanaenda kusomeshwa kizungu warabu ajui kizungu eh walabu wanakuambia ngaza lale kama no kama ajui na za hiyo wanaenda shule kufunzwa kizungu mtafute wasichana wame, wenye wametoka huko Saudi na wanajua Kiarabu. Ndio at least msichana akienda huko anaambiwa salama raiku hiyo ni salamu. Shai ni shai. Sufura ni mahali pa kukulia. Tal ni kukuja. Wagif ni kusimama. Vitu kama hizo anajua ndio maana akiitwa pale Tal Shagara anajua ni kuitwa naitwa Shagara ni mchana wa kazi. Unaona? So huyu mchana wakati amepiga simu haijashikwa na the agent hapo Kenya. Atasema mimi nimeanza sasa kuteswa. Labda msichana alikuwa na adarai ni elements. Adarai elements ni nini? Labda alikuwa na pressure ilikuwa inataka kumuingia akiwa Kenya. Wakati mwa, eh, mama ama agent amekosa kushika simu ya huyo msichana, msichana sasa hiyo maneno inaanza kwenda juu. Damu yake inaanza kupanda. Atakufa. Na sio Mwarabu amemua. Hapana, ni makosa huku Kenya imepigwa simu hakushika. Na niambie wa, wazazi. Kuna kitu moja nataka niwaambie. Msichana akitoka hapa akienda Saudi Arabia anafaa kulipa that 2000. Kwa hivyo huyu msichana akikutumia 70000 unafaa kumuuliza huyo pesa umetoa wapi. Ujue huyo ametoroka hapo nje. She is illegal immigrant. Afanyi kazi huko hayuko wada serikali. Na ukitulizeni uki, tuambieni hii maneno tunaijua. Eh? Mm. Wasichana wengi wamekufia huko wakifanya abortion. Eh? Na sasa shida turudie tu serikali. Msichana alitoroka kwa nini? Mshahara iko chini. Yeah. Filipino wanalipwa 1500. Ongezeni ya wasichana pesa hawatatoroka. Eh? Wengine wakitoka hapa wanakuanga na connection. Msichana huko huko Saudi Arabia anaitwa Darara. 
anamwambia fanya hivi we ukifika tu airport nitakuwa nimekugoja imagine huyo mchana hata haidagi kwa mwarabu anaibiwa na huyu msichana mkenya anaenda anapelekwa mahali kunaitwa ya mama kuna mahali kunaitwa jaradia manfuha kubru manfuha huko sasa ndio wasichana wako huko wamerent manyumba zao wengine hata ni matenant eh actually watu wengi hata walikuwa matenant eh unaona so ile kazi iko huko ni mbaya na ni mbovu so kusema ati kufungwe sasa ndio mmemaliza kabisa kwa sababu gani Mwarabu akisikia kumefungwa alikuwa ame create agreement na agent ako Kenya. Hiyo sasa agreement imeisha. What will happen? Mwichana atapigia agent simu. Juu si agent wote watu wako sagi kushika simu. The, the other guy Tomo Rude have said there are almost 200,000 Kenyan ladies who are working there. Almost 0.001 they wanateta. So akipiga simu mwichana ata, agent atamwambia acha nijaribu na ule Mwarabu lakini tu e, agreement ilisha. Hata teswa ama atateswa atateswa. So the only thing na naweza omba parliament ni kwamba tutafuteni sisi wenye tumeenda huko. Tuwakalishe chini tuambie Saudi one thing is not a kitchen the way you are thinking. Saudi inataka hii na hii mikakati. Na mkiweka safe houses. Kalas, kila kitu inaisha. Wasichana wenu mtakuwa mnasikia wanaenda wanaenda wanaenda. Na mjue kuna mavijana wengine wanafanya kazi huko, they are managers. Eh? Kuna wasichana bado wako huko wanafanya hospitali. Eh? Wagina wanafanya masalonist. Eh? wengine wanafanya caregiving eh unaona so hii kitu ni kitu kidogo sana ndio maana nilicheka nikianza na ni kitu inaweza kuwa solved with immediate effect kama ni president unataka kuwa point the ambassador usienda huko uwatafute mtu ni professor ama nani tafuta mama mwenye ashawa yenda huko anajua mashida za huko okay aende huko angalie wacha kutafuta tafuta mama mwenye ameenda huko na anajua kama ni safe houses tafuta wenye wameenda huko wanajua eh lakini sasa ukienda utafute ama uwa point anybody there he, he don't know he don't care eh na sikitikika sana kuona eh, Francis Atwori amesema ati hiyo ati msichana ananyosha ubwa kitu ya kwanza ni kwamba Saudi hakudanga ubwa Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa inaitangwa kerb na hiyo ni haram ni kama kusema kufunga eh, gurue Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa so eh, anafaa sijui venye atafanya ama sijui kama ata apologize eh, kwa wakenya kwa sababu imeshtua watu wengi sana and it was from pound site eh, na ki, kitu ya kitu ya kwanza mambo kama hiyo watu wa Mindia kambula iende kwa media ama ikuwe aired ulizia ni kwanza what is happening so i say thank you so much na i hope the government itajaribu kulectify and we are very much free we are very much there mukitaka kutuita Uh, tuwapatie advice venye kuko ama venye mtafanya we are there and we have very many people here thank you and even once more this guy have been working there for almost 20 years 20 years he have been there he was a trailer driver eh watu ni wengi wenye wako hapa wenye wametoka huko na wanajua personally eh? personally I've been in Saudi for 16 years 16 years and I can swear before god Saudi is one of the best countries in the world I can swear god na kitabu kitakatifu It is one of the best countries in the world because Sharia Saudi Arabia ni 100 plus 1% straight hivi but Kenyans we are not used of that. Atujazoea kupeleka sheria hivi. And I want you media people to ask me a question why do Kenya ladies die in Saudi Arabia? A simple question. I'll answer you right away. Why do Kenyans ladies die in Saudi Arabia? Just answer tell us. I want to ask you a question before I answer the question. Why do a number of girls is higher than gents? wanaume namba yao ni iko chini kuliko ya wanaume ya wanawake hamjawahi jiuliza hivi kwa nini hii inchi ya Kenya iko na serikali na inasafirisha tunasafirisha wasichana huko wasichana wanasafirishwa Saudi Arabia each and every year tunasafirisha wasichana hii inchi iko na UN UN inajua tunasafirisha wasichana na inajua wasichana wanakufia huko why kwa nini serikali haisimamishi kwa nini UN haisimamishi because they have done their diligent yao na tukapatana na sisi huko tukawaulizwa kwa nini wasichana wanakufa tulikaa chini na wao tukakaa chini na senate tukakaa chini na minister of labor huko tukakaa chini na embassy na tukawaelezea kiini cha sababu cha wasichana kufa wasichana wakitoka hapa wakifika huko wanaendaka na simu kama hii simu ya mtandao wakifika huko wanaingia kwa groups za Kenya working in Saudi kwa mfano ni wewe una msichana ambaye ametoka kwenyu kidhurai ama palipopote ama tijana mnapatana kwa mtandao anakuiba kutoka kwa ile nyumba umeenda. Ile nyumba umeenda unapewa 36000 Kenya shillings. 
anakuambia huku nje utapata eh, 72000 na ni kweli utapata hiyo pesa but document na mambo zote unaziweza kwa hiyo nyumba ukitoka nje unakutana na wanaume si waarabu wanaume wa Kenya sisi ndio tunawapachika hawa wasichana mimba it's not a secret sababu msichana ni wetu ni wa kwetu tunapata urafiki in Saudi Arabia there is no shortcut kwa sheria hii dawa za kupanga uzazi it is prohibited 100 plus 1 protection hakuna ukipata mimba wewe ni it's up to you na lazima tu, tuendeleze hiyo maneno and i'm sorry to, to say this in front of media ukipata na mwanaume huko mkifanya usharati na yeye upate mimba it is up to you huwezi pata mtoto kwa hospitali without documents na huwezi toa mimba so dakika ya mwisho huyo msichana ana decide kutoa hiyo mimba ukidecide kutoa hiyo mimba I want you to give me to give you three I want to give you three samples. Msichana huyu pengine hajawahi za hapa Kenya. Ni maana ya kwanza kwenda huko na ni maana ya kupata yake ya kwanza kupata mimba. Akipata mimba akiwa ni maana yake ya kwanza anaambiwa atoe hiyo mimba na miezi ine. I want to ask you will she survive four months pregnancy? She will not survive. She will die. Unashika? Number two, unakuta huyu msichana hapa Kenya amepata mimba na yeye amefanya CS hapa maana ya kwanza amepata watatu wawili na njia ya CS anaambia sikume mimba ya miezi ine. itatoka she will die number three, amepata mimba hapa huko na amezaa hapa watatu wawili na njia nomo. akifika huko akipata mimba anaambiwa atoe hii mimba ya miezi ine. hata succeed kutoa hiyo mimba lakini paracenta itabaki kwa tumbo huyo msichana anakufa once more anaitwa mimi ndio nilikuwa controller I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans with this Facebook including Moses Kuria. The current yes we have a juzi. He was under my control. He's a witness of that. Many Kenyans here know that. Wala menda Saudi Arabia. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans na Facebook. So, ninapigiwa simu na pewa picha ya msichana na pewa taarifa ametoka Bunanga, ametoka Kangema, ametoka wapi popote naweka kwa Facebook. Kiini kia msichana kufa hatuweki kwa Facebook. Kwa nini? Manake alitoroka kule alitoroka, ako nje, mwajiri hamshughuliki, si Mwarabu alimpajika mimba na si shughuli yake kupeleka hiyo mimba maiti nyumbani. Kenyans na you know Kenyans we don't throw our dead. Waki akifa wa Kenya lazima tushughulike maiti lazima ipelekwe nyumbani. Dakika ya mwisho hatutaandika kiini cha msichana kufa, ndio pesa zichangwa na Wakenya tusafirishe maiti. Tukizungumza na wazazi wake hapa, hatutamwambia kiini cha msichana kufa tunamwambia ni hybrid hybrid pressure mambo zingine sababu kuna mambo zingine zina aibu kuingia kwa masikio ya wazazi wazazi wakisikia msichana wao amekufa wanaita media media ikifika KICC Jomo Kenyatta International another one from Saudi there is no report yeah. there is no report hakuna report tunapeanaka because ina aibu ni report ina aibu but i'm telling you the best country in the world ni Saudi Arabia you cannot believe it you cannot believe it mahali unakaa na sheria na sheria unapelekana nao vile unasahili You cannot go beyond that sharia to fanywe nini. So that's why people wanapigaka sharia, wanapigaka Saudi Arabia na Saudi Arabia doesn't have anything to do with the girls. Why only Kenyans? Huko kuna watu tabaka zote duniani. Kwa nini Kenyans peke yao? Because tabia zetu, za wasiana wetu zimekeuka sheria. Unafikiria sheria ya Kenya itaenda kufanya kazi nchi nyingine? It's a lie. It's a lie. It can't. It can't. That's a Muslim country and they have to protect. And also Kenyans and Kenyans girls before they leave here they should know 95% ya constitution ya Saudi Arabia imekuotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani and there is no shortcut no matter what 95% I'm not a Muslim I'm a Christian and I know that 95% of sharia ya Saudi imekuotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani na haibadilishi yako even a, 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 a point hivi haibadilishi yako lakini Kenyans wanataka tukifika huko tubadilishe it can't work it can't so you should know I want to make a program with one of the media service pole pole nikiwa kuna haraka ni waeleze kwa kiini ndio wasichana wakitoka hapa wajua wakitoka hapa wanaenda wakifanya nini wanaenda kufanya kazi ama wanaenda kufanya mambo zile tunafanyaga hapa kwetu hapa kwetu we have all the freedoms hata mtu anatoka mimba ine na there is no problem no no where you will be taken huko jaribu kutoa mimba moja my friend you are a killer i have a lot mimi kutoka niende huko nimesafirisha wasichana 16 maiti nimesafirisha wamepokelewa hapa na vijana watatu ask yourself why hao vijana watatu wawili ni accident mmoja aliangua kwa swimming pool he's a witness of that and many girls here ambao tumefanya kazi nao huko sasa na shindwa why Kenya we don't ask ourselves why media doesn't ask herself kwa nini namba ya wasiana iko juu kuliko ya wanaume mm. eh hey, kwa nini sisi hatufuadi wanaume wakufi mm. eh hey, na wako huko kwa nini wasiana peke yao ndio wanakufa mm. maana yake hawawezi zuia joto mm. joto ya kiume hawezi zuia hazui 
Naona na hapa amezoea. Nasima kosa yake ni kawaida. Ni kawaida hapa Kenya we are free to do everything. But hapo funga mambo yako mahali iko. Unashika? Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, afternoon. Eh? Uh Mekuja, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.